so one of the things that I wanted to mention is about the book of Hosea again and its reference to uh, the New Testament and specifically Romans chapter 9 and it's a beautiful story about God's purposes and plans and uh, calling on on Israel on the Jewish people and so uh, I'm just going to read how Paul talks in Romans 9 referring to uh, the words of Hosea, which uh, in my first little video on Hosea 1, we'd, we'd mentioned. So this is what it says. And uh, for, uh, Romans chapter 9 um, from verse 23. What if he did this to make the riches of his glory known to the objects of his mercy, whom he prepared in advance for glory? Even us, whom he also called, not only from the Jews, but also from the Gentiles. As, it, as he says in Hosea, I will call them my people who are not my people. I will call her my loved one who is not my loved one. And it will happen in the very place where it was said to them, you are not my people. They will be called sons of the living God. So the lovely quotation that um, Paul brings out in Romans chapter 9 is uh, pointing to a much wider context of uh, Isaiah chapter 1 where God will include many people and he will really do the impossible though th the situation in uh, Hosea's life seems an impossibility um, this woman is so far from uh, any sense of a healthy relationship um, so so in need of you know, some, I mean, marriage counselling, I think, is understating the situation, isn't it? And it's, it's so need of some basic understanding of, of, of faithfulness, covenant, and uh, what it means to be in that intimate relationship. And, um, and, and we, you know, we without God are far off. We, you know, it says, in, the, in uh, Romans, you know, strangers to his promises. You know, the, the the Jewish people had this inheritance. They they had the patriarchs. They had the promises. They had the the receiving of the law, temple worship, and so on. They had all the all the kind of framework and structure for that was supposed to be there for them to understand how to relate to God and their waywardness and their uh, their idolatry, their wandering away from from what they knew was was breaking God's heart and uh, those of us who don't have that background and who haven't had that and that's not part of our you know part of our story um, we, we we're far off and it's, it's sometimes wondering how on earth would we ever connect in to God's plan and purpose and the 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 good news is that Romans 9 talks to us about how God will include those who are not my people, um, those who are, are far off. And we see that in the story of Ruth uh, as well in the book of in the book of Ruth in the Old Testament. Uh, she's an outsider, she's a foreigner, she's excluded, and how um, she comes to be included and actually becomes one of the ancestors of David and then Jesus. So we see such a great sense of God's purpose and plan uh, being worked out in, in these things um, when God draws us towards himself with cords of loving kindness, as, as the Bible sometimes terms it. And uh, we, we see with the situation the, uh, the, the, the threat, instability, the context of Hosea's Prophecy is a time when you know, rapidly kings are changing, rapidly the nation is uh, heading towards vulnerability, uh, outside invasion. Uh, it, it, it's not in a good place. And maybe sometimes we feel, you know, we can, we can look at our own nation and uh, look at the fragility um, and think, oh gosh, 
things aren't in a great place, are they? Uh, at, at, at these times, we need to revisit uh, that relationship with God personally and, and uh, think about that in a wider context as well. How can we reconnect in covenant relationship with God? How can we, how can we discover him? How can we find that place of, of uh, safety and belonging and reconciliation? And uh, uh, how can that change things for us um, and bring a, a, a place of stability in our own lives, even in a context where there's great instability around us? And so I just want to pray that for us now, that uh, whatever the circumstances and context in which you hear this and whatever the context for you personally and whatever the, the, whatever the sense in which you might feel far off from God, that he would draw you to himself, that you would uh, discover what it is to be included and loved by him and uh, his calling uh, you to be one of his people um, and to be connected into him and, and yeah for us to rediscover that intimate relationship with God which we, we all um, we all so deeply need even, even when we're not aware of it <laughs> we, 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 we need it more than ever alright bless you